we were placed here and in my mind I kept saying this isn't home and I'm not going to call it home because I'm getting out of here and here we are at day 60 and I'm still getting out of here This isn't what we had. This isn't what we wanted. This is not what I worked for. This is not what I strive for. I didn't go to college and get degrees to say, okay, we're going to live an extended stay. This was not a part of my goal. This was not a part of my future plan. Your heart is searching for a home, but in your mind, you're always displaced. <laughs> you live out of containers. Just the other night, we had to hang, put some things on hangers, and I sat back on the bed, and my heart dropped, and I said, you're hanging things up. You're getting comfortable here. I am bad. It's one thing to feel like a failure, but it's another thing to feel like a lonely failure. And that's kind of the position that a lot of us are in. It hurts so bad. Like, I hurt. And one thing about me is my hurt is not like a, a hurt of selfishness. It's like I hurt for everybody. I hurt for all of us that are in any situation like this. Um, because it's life-changing. That's my biggest fear. That's one of the things that keep me going every day is staying here on this earth to make sure that my kids are safe and stable. I want my kids to have what I didn't. So that's what I push for and that's, that's what my future revolves around is their stability.